Hello everyone. I hope everybody was green today. So, it's almost like the night before Christmas. It's the night before earnings, coming in earnings, actually Wells Fargo. We're going to look at all the banks, but we're going to start with Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo having some issues after hours, pulled back big time. Uh, looks like it news drop from new york post saying faces u.s regulatory heat after silicon valley bank meltdown coming into earnings the night before earnings kind of scary this can really bank earnings could really move the market let's just say they have some outstanding earnings we'll see a nice push on this market the market's bullish you know market may not like it if the earnings doesn't come in well then talking about jp's morgan's diamond Dude's really bearish. He's always got something bad to say about everything. So, you know, all that together, then hearing this news at night. So, looks like the market pretty much closed fairly flat. I mean, well, we closed strong at the end of the day, I'm talking about in after hours, um, you know, see where we're at in the morning. But you can see Wells Fargo here pushing up. I mean, the daily chart's really improving here. Wells Fargo has been one of the stronger banks. And to be honest, I didn't even realize that. Wells Fargo has not been one of the ones I've been checking on the intraday charts when I run the check banks real quick. Uh, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on it, especially after earnings. You can see the weekly 200 here is resistance right now. And you can see here on the 15 minute chart, you can see the move down, basically move right back down into your pre-market levels. And once again, that's just why we watch our pre-market levels, you know, right back down. So it wasn't, you know, it's not like we went to zero. It wasn't a huge move down, but just hearing that news come out, uh, algorithms probably picked up on the news. Actually, we were hearing it drop as we were shutting down at the end of the day. So it was out uh, like right at, right at market close. So people still had time to take advantage of it. Uh, you can see XLF here kind of bear flagging up on the weekly. So this is F X XLF's weekly, and we have been pushing up, but it looks just like a bear flag on a weekly. I would keep my, my trend lines drawn there and see how we act when we get to that weekly nine. But there's still a little bit of room to move there uh, to trade to the upside before you hit any major resistance. You see XLF entered day here. We snatched back, and we've seen this a lot in the market today. We pulled back, and we just ripped up and just ground, you know, grinded up the whole time. Really nice move. Oh, uh, you can see Bank of America. Oh, uh, you know, coming into Bank of America Friday, we have to look at Bank of America. So Bank of America, you actually have a one, two, three reversal coming in set up here, coming into uh, earnings. So this is a good sign. Depending, you know, I don't believe Bank of America reports tomorrow, but Bank of America is a just happens to be a nice asset to trade on Fridays. Um, I mean, we have a member who likes to trade it. Uh, but you can see pivot, pivot point one. This is pivot point one. This would be pivot point two. This is pivot point three. The entry would be the cross of pivot point two. Uh, that's very possible with earnings coming out tomorrow. Make, so like I say, if they go the right way, may kick some momentum up. That, it's a good chance we could go the other way. Uh, you can see here we're trading in this weekly in a pretty tight contraction pattern right now. Uh, it's very tight. Uh, this candle is a little outside of the range, but I would still keep my eye on it because uh, it's not not necessarily flagging. Flags, you know, push against the prevailing trend. Your prevailing trend would be down, so flags are trying to push up. So we'd be looking for a push into that nine. In this case, we're trading sideways. So I would keep a trend line bullish above these wicks right here. Actually, I would be bullish above this candle body. Be very wary of that wick on the way up. Oh, but we could easily go up and test that nine. And you can see Bank of America here. Very, very tight range today. Very tight range. Uh, you can see yesterday opened up a little bit. Tower top moved back down. Very tight range today. City. City's showing some strength today. Did pull back. It looks like we closed barely above that 200. Bullish above this 200. Uh, City is one that's reporting in the morning. I don't have a time on that. Uh, it's posted in the Discord. So you can see City here pushing up into, uh, this is City's weekly, pushing up into your weekly 59 and 20. So you got a lot of resistance right there. So that, that's a big, some huge level that needs to be cleared. City here, once again, a nice move up today. I mean, compared to Bank of America, that was a, you know, a fairly nice run. Give you some good range, allows you to make some money. Decent pullback into the end of the day. XLF daily, pushing right up off the nine there. 
Goldman Sachs. You can see Goldman Sachs pushing up here as well. I'll keep an eye off, you know, on, the, on your daily nine is just moving up. You got a basically a hammer, even though you find a hammer in a downtrend. So technically, this is not a hammer, but we're still, you know, it's still a bullish candle. Bullish. It, we're so close to this 200. Watch your 200 on the way up, but there is room for a few dollars to, to make some money there. All depends on what these earnings look like tomorrow. You can see here, once again, bear flagging into your uh, weekly moving averages. Now, we can take them out, especially on a catalyst. If the catalyst hits right, and I'm not saying I'm bullish right now, kind of just laying low. Uh, I'm going to let the market tell me which way to to uh, trade tomorrow, what direction, you know, uh, let the market set the trend and trade, trade the action. You can see the intraday here move fairly tight. But we could take those levels out with on some catalyst momentum. JP Morgan, you can kind of see the hammer candle here. Like I say, we're not really in a downtrend, but we do have a hammer candle at support. So it's the same technicals. This is not a hammer candle, but the same technicals apply. Uh, you know, you can see where this candle had opened up. The bears ripped it back. Bulls brought this candle all the way back up and closed it above the open. That shows a lot of strength, even though it may not be in this, you know, or may not be in a downtrend, you know, like it textbook says, there's still a very bullish candle there. Uh, I would draw a line across that. I would only be interested in trading it once it crossed that resistance. And we could do that tomorrow easily. Uh, now, JP Morgan here on the weekly, this is starting to be a big deal. You can see it shoulder, head. Now, watch it. Now, this is not just a shoulder and a head. Let's talk about this head right here. This is a tower top. You know, if you use the blended candle method, and I talked about this, if you use the blended candle method, take two candles, look at it as one, basically. Uh, and so you will give you a bullish engulfing candle coming in. So there's two candles engulf the next candle. Um, don't really, the previous candle, but let's not get too textbook here. Use the blended can candle method. Bullish engulfing candle coming in, bearish engulfing candle coming out, square it off, move down. But it's also starting to form a small shoulder here. It's not perfect, but let's keep an eye on this. We could have a nice short opportunity. So we're looking at bullish opportunities, we're looking at short opportunities. Plan A, plan B. Thing is, we're just going to make some money with it. We don't really care about the direction. Hopefully, up, we always want the market to go up. But we can make some money with it. So let's keep an eye on that. We got definitely got one form in there. Uh, JP Morgan intraday big pullback wasn't able to take out the uh, pre-market levels so I prefer when I see stocks that you know taking out those levels is a sign of strength uh, Wells Fargo uh, we've already seen this chart so that basically concludes our video for today you know discipline is going to be key let's keep in mind we also have retail sales tomorrow and I believe uh, consumer sentiment possibly I'd have to double check on that right now but the earnings are the big thing in pre-market see what they give us and let's have a great day and I'll see you in the trading room